Hello and welcome to, I guess, episode 170.5, <laughs> because this isn't officially raw. This is just a quick update video, because there's some other stuff I didn't go over, and some more things I need. I feel need addressing before we get to, um, series 4. So, Summer Sam was a big hit, I've now finally updated the um, text at the bottom of the screen. It still has the Wembley background on it for now, but actually I could probably change that right this second. Hold on. No, oh, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Right. <laughs> yeah, so Summer Sam finished and I've just got another couple of things I want to go over before we officially get into Wave of Season 4 because it's going to be a lot different. If you've seen the challenges on the challenges video, which... I'll actually leave it open for now because, um, yeah, get, get more time because we're not officially starting Raw yet, so I'm not going to officially end the challenges taking thing until Raw goes up, so you still got more time to do that. But, yeah, so I just want to quickly go over what we've got. So to start with, there's a roster review that I didn't really go over after SummerSlam because I recorded the State of the Universe before SummerSlam went live. So I can show off now, obviously, the new champions and their popularity gain. And how everyone's doing on this show. Um, check out my um, major stars and etc. Um, wrestler, major stars. These are, my, these are my top guys. The Fiend is at 92. He's actually by far the number one merch seller in the company. Alistair's at high 80s, low 90s. Andrade's at high 70s, low 80s. Um, Becky's back up too because like I had to take 10 popularity off her when I failed the, the goal about Shelton back here and then she slowly went down because she was off TV and I was worried at this point that she might not be able to get back up but one win at SummerSlam and boom she's already our top gal well maybe not because we'll get to the other one in a minute Big E's at mid to low 80s he's got the New Day background don't read too much into that um, he used to, I just decided to just remake the faction active again because I feel like they are still all New Day at heart. But he is still going to be on SmackDown as a single star for now. Lashley, um, as you saw, the rest of the Hurt Business, other than Dio Madden, who we'll get to him in a minute. Um, I decided that Season 4 was going to be the like biggest change of any season so far. So I decided that I needed to cut a lot of people on my roster, literally just for no other reason than to make room for fresh new faces. And Cedric and Shelton ended up being two of the ones that I did get rid of. And so the Hurt Business has now by proxy folded, because again, Dio Madden, we'll get to him in a minute, but he won't be able to be aligned with Lashley anymore either. Murphy's at mid to high 80s. Charlotte's at mid to high 80s. Drew's at high 80s, low 90 EO's at mid and a wide range of different 80s. Um, Cross, who wasn't on SummerSlam. Keith Lee, I think he's stayed the same. He might have dropped a little bit. Yeah, he stayed the same from that loss. It was this loss back here that um, damaged him. Okay. Owens, doing fine. Sasha's now made a star because she won the title. Andy, Rhea is also back up here. Roman, Seth, Shinsuke, and The Miz. So yeah, those are our major stars. I don't want to go too far down on this, actually, because I don't want to give away. There are some mild roster spoilers about people who may or may not be popping up in the next few weeks. So we'll go down to star, and then maybe well-known at a push, but I think one of them might be well-known, so it's fine. And Cole, AJ, AJ, <laughs> Angel Garza, Corbin... Bailey, Bianca, Bronson Reed, Cesaro, Damian Priest, Elias, Finn Balor, John Morrison, Johnny Gargano, Kyrie Sane, Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, oh, Kyle was a star now, is he? That's nice. Otis, Ray, Ricochet, Sammy, Joe, Sonya, and Xavier Woods. And then we'll peep down at well knowns. If there's somebody down here who's not debuted yet, then. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay, I don't think there is actually. That's fine. Got Alexa. Angelo Dawkins, Apollo, Asuka, Bobby Fish, Bobby Roode, Candice, Gable, Dakota, Dijakovic, Dolph Diggler, Dominic Mysterio, Drew Gulak, Ember Moon, Eric, Grand Metalik, Isaiah Scott, Ivar, Jacob Fatu, Jeff Hardy, Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, Kofi, 
Kushida, Liv Morgan, Maki, Mia Yim, Montez Ford, Nikki Cross, Oni Lorcan, Raquel Gonzalez, Robert Stone, R Truth, Santos Escobar, Seamus, Shotzi Blackheart, Sue Young, and Tony Storm. And I'm not going to go down to recognisable because there's definitely people that I haven't debuted yet that are recognisable and I don't want to spoil their debuts. So, that's the wrong notepad. <laughs> that's spoiling something I'm going to get to in a minute. Also, so we just went over the roster overview. Um, we've done a superstar shakeup, a very, very mild one. It's not even like, even in terms of like, I did a full draft, obviously, after Mania, and that was a big shakeup. And then you do, you do the normal superstar shakeups where a couple of people move. This is even smaller than the usual superstar shakeup. Um, it's just like a couple of people because I don't feel like the rosters are that stale. But I did want to change up a couple of things for a couple of people. So I've actually written down who's gone there. Raw will now host Karrion Cross with Scarlet. Shinsuke Nakamura. Shin there. I need to call him Shinsuke Nakabuga. Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs. Tony Nice, Death from Above, which is Lince and Grand Metalik. And also with Cynthia Crespo. I'll put her in now. Can't forget about her. Um, we've got Ruby Riot and then Danny Jordan and Carmella, the mean girls with Reggie, all going to Raw. And SmackDown gets Buddy Murphy, Damian Priest, Dio Madden, Elias, Andrade, Kevin Owens, Alexa Bliss, and the Iconics. Yeah, so just a mild little shake up. Those people will now swap over brands. And yeah, so moving forward, they will be on those respective shows. You may have spotted a couple of them when I went through the rosters. They've got different roster but i can go over the belts actually as well i'm actually in the middle of booking a show so yeah um drew mcintyre is the world heavyweight champion he held it for two days um sammy zane's the WWE champion one day um 83 prestige for sammy's belt and 81 for drew's our truth is a 24 7 champion he got it back off that damn mr blobby 66 time champion kofi's the ic champ five time champion i think his popularity's capped because like he's Hit, hit a wall at 70 for months and he just won a belt at SummerSlam and didn't move at all so I think he might be capped but he doesn't matter because he's still like smashing out the best ratings of the whole save so Red Dragon Undisputed Era Fish and O'Reilly are still the tag team champions Becky Lynch new Raw Women's Champion I'm um, 75 prestige for that one that's actually doing alright 62 for the Usos um 85 day reign is Smackdown Tag Team Champions. Only 62, even though it just main event at SummerSlam. Let's check the prestige. No, it's actually been going up gradually, but not as much as you'd think it would have after that main event. 65 for the Smackdown Women's title. Again, they're all slowly rising. Queen Sasha, three time champion with that. Drew Gulak, new United States champion. Number 73, that's actually. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was more prestigious than one of those belts up there, but. Probably just in the SmackDown Women's title. And it's going up and up and up. Drew Gulak won that one. And then the tag team champions are Ember and Shotzi. So now, the Mixed Match Challenge, which, um, obviously, if you check the description, is one of the ways I've decided to spruce up the shows. We have a lot of the themed shows we're doing, but this one is an old challenge from last season that I always had a plan for the fall. That will begin um, after the next episode of SmackDown. So there may be a video going up between now and then with the teams in it. If not, then I'll post it on the during the actual show. Just a little bracket for the teams in it. Some fun teams in that. And the show will run like the Mae Young Classic did. Where I will put it at the end of SmackDown. Which is actually going to be something else to note. Because for season four, like I've been forced to expand my roster a little bit more. So I have to find more stuff to be able to do. So... I'm actually going to be turning Heat and Velocity into sort of like what AEW Dark is in real life, where I will quickly flick through it at the end of the shows, but it will just be a nice way to like borrow NXT people, test chemistry for tag teams, and give momentum to lower card people. Maybe a few a storyline or two will start on that show, <laughs> and yeah, but I will st I'll start putting it on the end of the show, starting from next Raw, not the Raw that's going up as the first episode of season four because I've already accidentally started the show and booked main event. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to have it scheduled so I record it after Raw. So yeah, like I did 205 Live back in the day on 2016 as well. So yeah, but 
for SmackDown, they'll, they'll be like a month or so behind Raw in terms of that because Velocity will serve as the home of the Mixed Match Challenge. Unless I decide to put that on a second, separate show on the network on a Saturday, which then I will conflict with the pay per view. I'll think about it. <laughs> okay. But there may or may not be a Velocity and a Mixed Match Challenge. There may just be a Mixed Match Challenge for the first month. But I will start putting the B shows on TV moving forward because mainly. I feel the main reason I decided to do this is because I have the goal for a debuting wrestler to go in 50 and 0 and I was going to do this shit where I was like oh Jacob Fatu he's like 35 and 0 right now but that includes matches I haven't put on the series on like velocity and main event and shit but those wins will actually be pretty much canon if I start airing the B shows so yeah it'll be a nice just a little way to so you don't forget about people they don't go too long about wrestling and stuff yeah, challenges are done for now. They're still going to be open. Go back to the State of the Universe video if you want to leave new ones. And yeah, I think that might be about it. Um, just wanted to quickly pop in and just do this, just to basically just find a canonical way for the shakeup to have happened before the time rule goes live. Um, and just quickly go over the roster and shit. And to give you one last push to field a goal, which I'll leave the link to the State of the Universe video in the description. And yeah. But be prepared for season four, because season four of this is going to be a whole lot different than um, season three and one and two. It's going to be, it's going to feel like a completely different show. Um... Because the way I'm going to be running and formatting Raw and SmackDown are going to be different. It'll be more realistic instead of just match segment, match segment. Like, I'll start doing a thing like, like in real life. The way I book on this show now is like, oh, I've got a segment here. This opening, I've got a segment here for with Edge talking five minutes because that's how the game operates. I've got a segment here with Adam Cole speaking five minutes. Match here, give that twelve minutes. When that's just not really how Raw is formatted in real life. It's like three minute segment eight minute segment one minute segment eight minute match two minute segment 12 minute match five minute segment 10 minute segment i'm gonna start being more like proper with my booking times and making it structuring it more like an actual show as well as obviously airing the b shows at the end of it and yeah and a whole lot more fun quirky shit because of all the ways i've asked to spice up weekly tv and you've given me a lot of fun theme shows that i'm gonna run with so basically, the Raw and Smackdown that you remember is going to be no more coming um, season four. Well, actually, that's technically not true. Because it, in reality, it depends on what Raw and Smackdown you remember. See you for Raw.